Hey Eurovision fans, it's time for another Junior Eurovision reaction video and I'm really excited today to be reacting to Ireland's song for Junior Eurovision 2023. It's Jessica McKean singing Ashling. I'm going to listen react to the music video and then we're going to look at Ireland's stats in Junior Eurovision and see how this could do in East France. So let's keep you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tom. I'm an Irish Eurovision analyst and you can find all of this stuff on my Eurovision channel. So being Irish, I am extremely excited to see this song today. As you may know, we are pretty unsuccessful in adult Eurovision recently. So junior Eurovision has kind of almost become a little bit of a respite from that constant failure because last year we came fourth, which was an amazing result. We got 212 points from Malta and Serbia, which was so exciting for us to get 12 points. So I'm really looking forward to this year. We've got Jessica McKean, she's singing Ashling. Ashling is a girl's name in Ireland, but I'd forgotten that it also means dream or vision. The song is written by Niall Mooney, who I believe wrote Solace last year. And also Sophie Lennon, who performed Solace last year, is one of the songwriters as well. So even though she's 14, she's already got her first songwriting credits. That's absolutely amazing. I'm really looking forward to this. I love it just to be good. Being an Irish Eurovision fan is one of the most traumatic experiences. So being able to celebrate and like do well in Eurovision is such a beautiful thing when it rarely happens. So I really would like this to, I don't wanna win. <laughs> I'm not delusional. I just want it to be good. I have to admit, I do associate the Irish entries with being more ballads more often than not. So I'm kind of expecting maybe a ballad, maybe some traditional instruments or something. That would be cool. Okay, this is Jessica McKean singing Ashling one and on my secret band. Come on, Ireland. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Ooh. That's a dramatic starting. Oh, that vi music video looks very expensive. I, I'm not going to understand that all the words. I'll do my best. My Irish is a bit rusty. Ooh, lovely castle. Nice start, giving us some like Game of Thrones vibes. She's looking great, she's giving great face. Looking very good in front of the camera. Honig me, I understood that bit, I came. <laughs> nice build up into the course, come on. Let's hope there's a wow course now. She looks beautiful in that red dress. Really, really gorgeous. Mmm. Okay, it's in the same vibe as Solus, isn't it? Really, really beautiful imagery here. There's some really nice castles in Ireland. You should go there, visit. Hmm, okay, very pretty so far. I, I'm feeling like we're gonna build up to something a little bit more wide. It does feel like a, that build up vibe. Oh, another very pretty dress. Getting like kind of like haunted house ghost vibes here. Yeah, it's building nicely. Very elegant, traditional ballad. Very pretty. That scene coming in the background is really nice. Ooh. Oh wow, yeah. Oh, there's a change of pace here. Ooh, and a choir as well. Okay, so they're mixing up a little bit. That's kind of interesting. I feel like she's looking for a ghost or something. Oh, that's Sophie. Is that Sophie Lennon? Yes, Sophie Lennon. Is Sophie singing in the song? Oh, amazing. Eurovision royalty. Lovely. It's a very, very pretty song. Very elegant. Beautiful visuals of nature. I like that kind of like Baron quick beat coming in the background as well. Lovely. Really, 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 really pretty. Very similar vein to Solace last year. It's a very pretty, elegant ballad, kind of like with some traditional elements, not just traditional elements, but kind of like a traditional ballad feel to it. The visuals are really pretty. This like kind of countryside castle, I'm not sure where that, which county that was in. Wandering around through nature, wandering through the castle, going in, seeing Sophie Lennon, who is <laughs> Eurovision goddess, getting two twelves last year. I love that kind of like that they're working together. And obviously she worked on the song. It sounds like Sophie was 
singing a bit on the track as well. I almost started sing thinking there, is this going to be Jessica featuring Sophie? Is like Sophie actually going to be participating in Nice? I don't think so. I think she was just giving some vocals. I like the styling. I love that red dress she was wearing. There was also a bit where she also had like a, it looked like a rhinestone type dress, like an Irish dancing competition dress. Over overall really nice. Yeah, nothing like very surprising or out of the box. Like I said, I kind of expect these ballads from Ireland. I feel like it's our kind of go-to. I don't know if we can pull off something type of thing that Armenia is sending for example this year we just don't have that I just feel like that's a little bit more of a reach for us whereas like going into like a beautiful traditional ballad is like it's an easier fit I feel like it's going to do really well with the jury I think it's definitely got jury bait written all over it with the title vote I'm not as sure I, I'm still thinking that ballads are a little bit tougher sell for junior Eurovision audience I hope that it gets some televote love but I definitely think like um, maybe another jury 12 points is possible. That would be really, I think I'd be happy with that if we got another 12. <laughs> I have to get my 12s in while I, while I get a chance. And I'm so happy that Sophie's writing a song that's really amazing. Hopefully she can like con continue developing her songwriting skills, maybe working with Nal Mooney. He can like kind of uh, mentor her a little bit and then she can start writing songs for Al Eurovision as well in the future. So that's that's another really exciting aspect of this. So I think this is really nice, really well put together. I have to admit, I didn't pick up the lyrics. <laughs> I picked up the odd word like Hornig and stuff like that. For, for those of you who don't know about Irish in Ireland, it, it is one of our official languages, but the majority of people speak English. Like I spoke English the entirety of my childhood. We have pockets of areas in Ireland that, that do predominantly speak Irish. They're called Gwael Talks. They're mostly in the West and the Southwest. It's a, it's a really pretty language. I don't think it's taught particularly well in Ireland, in my personal opinion. I really love the TG Carr are coming forth, showing off that this language exists. It's not a very well-known language. A lot of people are surprised to hear that we have our own language. Well, most people don't even know that Irelandism isn't part of the UK. So just getting over that first hurdle and then the second hurdle that we have our own language. So let's have a look at Ireland's results in Junior Eurovision. So we joined the contest in 2015, we missed 2020. Generally not fantastic results at the start, but as I said last year, Sullis getting that fourth place finish was really, really excellent in a pretty strong year as well. I'm hoping that the Irish delegation can keep up that momentum and get a second top 10 finish. I think visually they've got some great ideas. I really love that kind of mystical, traditional like fairy fort nature castles fantasy vibe that they're going for i think that's really fun and i think a lot of kids actually will enjoy watching that so i think i quite like if they leaned into that i thought their staging last year with the lighthouse led was really really effective and beautiful and then sophie had on a very pretty dress as well so hopefully they're going for something maybe with a little bit more nature a bit more greens Okay, just have my second list there. Yeah, it's got a real epicness to it. It feels like the end of like a Disney movie, like the climax part of it. I like that it has those fast rhythms in the background because it does make it feel just like a little bit different from a standard ballad. And then I love when uh, Sophie comes in, she says, it's Misha Aeon Solis, I am the light. So that's a really cute line as well. I didn't understand all the lyrics. My Irish isn't fantastic. I think that there's going to be a little bit of a overlap between this and North Macedonia, both like very nice ballads, well constructed. I do feel like North Macedonia is maybe a little bit more got traditional elements in it, whereas this has got that kind of like fast beat, but they sound quite different. So hopefully they don't like cancel each other out too much. Okay, so that's what I thought about Jessica McKean singing Ashling. What did you think? Leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to Mel for supporting me on Buy Me A Coffee and also to Sarah B for supporting me on PayPal. If you want to support the channel, I'll leave links for you in the description. And of course, thank you to all my wonderful patrons all over the world who help keep me going. Thank you so much for your support. And that's it for today. I hope to see you on another Junior Eurovision Reaction video very soon. Goodbye. <laughs>